and it had a big WR, meaning world record. And, and I won. I want to ask you about a couple notable moments from your career. The first being uh, the 2004 Olympic trials where you qualified for the games for the first time, not only ensuring that you'd be an Olympian for the first time, mm -hmm. but that your dad, a longtime swimming coach, had not only his f first <laughs> ever student in the Olympic yeah. games, but it just so happened to be his son. For me, it was, my goal was always, ever since I was little, it was about 92 Olympic games. Um, I remember seeing, um, I actually have a cap of him. Uh, he was a Pablo Morales. He was a 100 butterflyer for the US. It says, to Ryan, keep on flying. And I would just remember being like him. And he's like, that's when I set my goals. I was like, I want to make the Olympic team, but I just don't want to make the Olympic team. I want to get a gold medal. And while getting a gold medal, I want to break a world record. And so growing up, like that was always kind of like that goal. And, um, you know, just all the workouts that my dad had to put me through and to see me grow and to actually see his son, not just a swimmer of his, his actual son. Um, I could definitely see my dad being very, very emotional. <laughs> God, it was an out of body experience. It, it really was. It was like, I lost my voice from cheering so, so much. The pinnacle is to get one of your athletes to the Olympic games and potentially to win a medal. But what the icing on the cake was, I'm the dad. And, and, and to see one of my athletes um, that I have coached most of his life, and to make the team, it was like, wow. You, 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 you reached the top of Everest. You've reached the summit. The 2008 Olympic Games, yes. gold medal in the backstroke final. Take me through from the very tail end of that race till you go up to your dad. Oh, shit. I told myself I wasn't gonna get teary-eyed for this, but I remember pushing off the wall, going into the last 50 of the 200 backstroke in Beijing. And I could see out of the, uh, the corner of my eye, like Aaron Pearsall, which is the current world record holder, had it for so many years, um, never lost that race. Uh, I just remember towards the end of the race, we were going neck and neck, stroke for stroke, and I remember like staring up at the ceiling and being, um, if there's anyone up there, help me. I've always told Ryan that he was good, but in order for you to be great, you have to, in my opinion, as a swim coach, Ryan, you're gonna have to win the gold medal. And break a world record, because that was my goal, that was my dream. Now, to me, that's being great. And then, um, for some, something happened, and I got this burst of energy or something, and it, like, someone just slingshotted me to the finish. I just remember touching that wall and seeing Lane, um, I think it was like lane five, like Ryan Lochte, and it had a big WR, meaning world record. And, and I won. And I just remember leaning back and just looking up and being like, thank you. I finally did it. And to have your dreams come true, I can't, I can't put in words. My dream finally came true. There was bleachers on the pool deck where he came up 
and we held each other. And I, I whispered, I said, today you're great. I love you. And I gave him a big hug. And I said, Dad, I did it. And he goes, no, 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 you're great. 